We just got a ton of Inazuma 11 Victory Road beta news, including a release date, March 28th. But today, I thought we could take another look at the trailer and the news drop and just really dissect it and make sure we didn't miss anything. So let's start off with this tweet from Hino that he posted after the fact, where he obviously clarifies the release date for the beta test trial version of Inazuma 11 Victory of Heroes has been decided on March 28th. First, the match part, including online battles, will be released, and then the story part will be released in updates. Now, we knew that the story would be coming after the fact, but it seemed like, from what he was saying originally, online was also going to be a bit after the initial launch of the beta, which we thought was just going to be single-player matches. But, lo and behold, it seems like online is going to be there day one. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that the second the bloody game launches, I'm hopping on and I'm crushing you all at it. So make sure you hop onto some TXN live streams, and then I will take you guys on and absolutely whoop you. But let's take a look at the trailer. So this is obviously the trailer, and we're just going to kind of go frame by frame, going, all right, let's properly look at this. Let's make sure we did not miss a single detail. We're getting our Inspector Gadget gadgets out. I don't, I've never seen Inspector Gadget. Our Sherlock Holmes magnifying glasses out. We're inspecting y'all. Right, let's let's hop to this frame then. So this is a thing we've seen. I saw on, I think, the Brasm's Twitter, he was talking about this. This is a thing we've seen a few times, this initial walk-in video, where it's like the, the teams coming in, and as you can see, there's one for each of the three teams, National Champs, Inazuma All-Stars, Alias Masters, which is, I mean, this is a, one, a really cool cinematic. But two, the fact that we're seeing this so many times probably means this plays at the beginning of every match or every... Maybe it's just story mode matches, maybe it's online matches, and this is just kind of their way of introducing the players, because if it's just 3D models, then I guess it could be any team, really. It's just a case of going, this player now, this player. Kind of like in FIFA, how you've got your formation things, I guess. So, I, I'm, I think this is awesome, and I'm hoping that we get to see this before every match, but I also then, I guess, hope it's skippable. I Because it's one of those things where I really want this to be in front of every match, but I will probably only ever see it twice. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next frame. Obviously, we can just kind of... Yes! Ah! Bit eager there. Bit eager there. Bloody hell. Here we go. Right. So, obviously, it's just nice to see all this in English. My God. I'm so used to trying to, to decipher Japanese here a bit. So, I mean, the top of my screen is slightly covered on the recording. But it does say Inazuma All-Stars and National Champs. So, National Champs being the new name for Japan uh, All-Star. The Japan... What is it? Japan Dream? Japan Dream. Down here, we've got Long Kick Evade Pass. So, I'm assuming that's just like a big pass, a small pass, and Evade. Like, Dodge Roll? Dark Souls? I'm not entirely... I assume it's just getting out the way in a cool way. I can't imagine it's like... A dodge roll or something like that but i guess you never know now the thing here that did um that did catch my interest was over in this corner that that my arm doesn't this this corner where it says tension point plus 60 tension points um, and scott banyan spirit one now what does that mean well, I, I think that once you do a duel, or once you do something that is worthy of a tension point, you can win items or spirits, and we'll get to those spirits um, like down the line and, and later in this video and talk about what you do. But it's just interesting that you're going to be earning stuff during the match and seeing what you're earning as you go. So if you're trying to grind for something, you don't have to wait till the end of the match to go, oh god, I, I, you know, I finally got that, or oh, I didn't get that. You can see during the match. Which is cool. Uh, it's a, it's nice. I mean, it's going to be a lot of information. My worry with this game is going to be that it's just information overload. And I have no idea what's going on at any given time. Because I'm looking and I'm seeing I've just won Jack Wallside Spirit. While I'm trying to dodge this guy who's been training since birth. To be the ultimate Inazuma 11 Victory Road player. But uh, it's cool. It's a cool nifty feature. It's something we didn't know. Now, if we pop over to this special move. Ooh, would you look at this interesting detail? Hoopsie Daisy, obviously we know the dub names are here, but Hoopsie Daisy is right here. What does that mean? Well, it means the Galaxy dub names, the Portuguese ones, I think, if I'm correct, those were real. So Hoopsie Daisy is um, Charisse Blossom's move, the one with the hoops. 
and the daisy. So we now know that is the official dub name, which means that generally we can assume all galaxy dub names are real. Fun little detail, outside skill area to use Gloopy. Oh, I guess if Goldie is the one with the ball. No, is Goldie the one? Yeah, Goldie's the one with the ball in the situation. Hence why she can't use Gloopy Gloopy Goo. Yeah, breakthrough pass. I'm assuming that's why it's saying outside skill area. I can't imagine what else that would mean. Okay, the my god, there's so much going on here. Yo, this is <laughs> this is gonna be hell. Day one of this is gonna be hell. Uh, but then obviously we know this screen scramble. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna make everyone's life easier watching this video and my life easier and just make this screen bigger. It's sick, I could have done that to begin with. Scramble, but 59%, 49%. This is obviously the percentage chance of doing something in the Zoom Roll Stars National Champs. Keep 52%. Look, we know it. We know this scramble screen. We've seen this scramble screen. This is not what we're on about. Here, yeah, it, we already know all this. Hey, presto, fortissimo foot, Aphrodite. Yeah, focus, win. This is a, basically a lot of stuff we already know. Like, we know about the zones, the, the goal scoring, the... I, I like that this is a cool, like, new pitch. I just like this pitch. I'm not too keen on, like, the texture. That's, like, really specific and, like, nitpicky, I guess. I did see something pop up. Look, it's another item. Under the starry sky one. So as we can see, it's not just spirits you're going to be winning in these duels, but also like little items which are hero tokens. It's not pal pack items. Hero tokens, which I, I think you use to make your characters stronger. I, I think. Again, I'm losing track slowly, but I'm... Uh, oh, illusory ball. Illusory ball. What's up? They have dub names for the special moves, but for some reason, they changed Illusion Ball's dub name to Illusory Ball. Is, is Illusory even a word? Illusory. Based on Illusion, not real. It is a word, but it, it why Illusory Ball? I don't know. Flash Dash, obviously, that, that we know that move. Heartbeat. That is a, the name of the move. Well done. The wall, I can't believe I'm congratulating them on remembering the name of their move. Waxing Moon, special tactics. We've seen this name pop up a few times, I think. So it's cool to actually get to put a name to a tactic, unless that was an Orion, and I don't know. Doom Sword Slash, Legendary Wolf, Royal Lancer. Can't wait to use Ares moves. That's going to be so cool. God Hand, let's go. Victory, look at this cute little victory screen. Then we pop over into story mode. Remember y'all, this story mode, it is a lie. You're not playing this for about 10 years. And by 10 years, I mean April, May, I don't know, April, I'm not sure. But obviously story mode is gonna be a later update. And by story mode, I think they mean chapter one. Uh, I did see on Darts' Twitter, I I'll have the tweet up now. They removed story, they removed the from the website saying that you can't, it used to be that you couldn't save during story mode. They have removed that, which means they've probably changed their minds on that. And you can now save during your story mode playthrough. God bless. Why you couldn't do that originally, I don't know. But you know what? It's nice to see people learn from their mistakes. Anyway, let's take a look at the story mode trailer. Ah, here we go. Dub names. We have Destin Billows over here and Briar Bloomhurst. Now, I do have some videos coming out, or a video coming out about the dub names soon. Um, but Destin Billows is obviously Destiny Billows, while Briar Bloomhurst <laughs> is some cool alliteration. And nothing screams edgy to me quite like bloom, like flowers. So you know what? Fair. I like it. A touching story. Well, I'll take their word for it. And here we've got a focus battle with some of the greatest dialogue I've seen in my entire life. These guys are the trash of society, and today's garbage day. That goes so hard. So hard. Oh my god. Don't get cocky, you middle school punks. How old is this man? We're gonna get you back for yesterday. We can also have a look to see um, these things. These little focus battle uh, actions. Sliding tackle. Trying to do a sliding tackle in the middle of an actual fight is really cool. I respect that. Dodge like a butterfly. I love specifically that it's dodge like a butterfly. It's, it's strange then that tackle time is there instead of sting like a bee. You feel that would have been obvious. It's a trap. 
I don't I don't know what that's gonna mean. At least that's just like run away, I assume. Dodge? I'm not sure. But I like the, the fact that they're fun names rather than just like punch, kick, run. I like the fact that it's it's a trap and dodge like a butterfly. Obviously we've got Thug A, Thug B, Thug C. So curious to know how these work, how these focus battles work in, in more like like detail. I'm so curious because this this screen to me feels fake. But it looks beautiful. And then obviously we've got collecting items. And now we've got a bunch of animated cutscenes from Mappa. If you make a compilation of these, level 5 will hunt you down. Um, we've got Kasoji Hater over here. We've got Briar Bloomhurst. Baseball Man. Uh, the, vi the Vice President. Um, this fella, who I think is from that one team I can't remember the name of. I'll put the name of the team on the screen. He's orange. Um, we've got, obviously, Un no, Destin. Sorry, I need to start recalling him Destin. He's no longer Unmei. He's Destin Billows. And then Endu Haru, who I'm shocked we don't know the dub name for yet, also. And then it's Inazuma Land Victory Road. Worldwide beta test kickoff. So I don't know if you guys can see, but in big text there, it says March 28th, 2024. I'm a bit excited. I don't know if you know. But now we shift gears to a website, the power of the internet. And we can take a look at this website in slightly more detail because there is a lot of juicy information here. Gather Inazuma champs. The online competition will set your world on fire. Oh, I'm sure it will, you know, I'm sure it will. I thought that said enjoy competing against your bros. <laughs> ah, this is hyperdimensional football. Yeah, these are just images from the trailer. Oh, Dragon Crash. Some of these to be fair weren't in the trailer. It's just kind of cool getting to see all these moves in like high quality. I love it. But uh, let's take a look at these images. Obviously, team formation, tips and tricks. All characters have their own team passives. Team passives. Think of how to combine them to bring out the best in all your team members. Right, when I say this game looks complicated, when, when I say this game looks bloody complicated, this is what I'm on about. Th this is the image that does it to me. First of all, okay, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Training. Team Doc in Azuma All Stars Level 24. Simple. Rank. Continent. Okay. Team Parameter. I understand that word. Oh. Uh, I'm assuming by training they mean that you train one of these. And this isn't like everything I need to bear in mind for my team at once. I assume I'm training up these. Like these are like things I can give to my players. Like passives. Because what... What is this screen? Let's take a look. When even or trailing in goal... I'm not reading all of these. Team's breach rate plus 20%. Yep, yeah, this might make me cry. Let, let's be honest, y'all. This is a lot of numbers. A lot of words. After team scatters opponent by sprinting, tension increases by 2%. Okay, right. When team passes, bond power gained plus 100%. That feels like a good one. I like the, the bigger the number, the better. When bond power is at 20% or above, team scramble value plus 30%. Yeah, right. So, one day, March 28th, hopefully, I will understand what this means. Right now, I'm showing you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Read these words. Comment down below what you think of them. What you think of all these words in this order. This is Team Delta, apparently. And um, okay, training. Yeah, we can look at these passives over here. Team passives. This is Mark's team passive. So I'm assuming that you've selected ones from these. Maybe. I don't know. Castle wall defense plus 3% for nearby players. He's got two of those. Scramble value plus 3% for different position players. So I'm assuming that means players who aren't a goalkeeper. When opposition commits a foul, bond power increases by 4%. That feels pretty self-explanatory. He's also got a fun bio. He's also a top player, grade 2 top player. We know players have different rarities, and you can... Uh, ooh, I can show off. You can upgrade those players' rarities, so we can see this is an advanced player mark. They're upgrading into a top player mark by using spirits. If we take a look at these spirits over here, you, I assume you, so you collect the spirits during the matches like we just saw. And um, like we saw with the whole Scotty Banyan incident, <laughs> incident, and then you you synthesize those spirits 
uh, into these players. Like, and then you make the players better, I assume. But then, it's not just player spirits, fun fact. You can also upgrade your uh, coach. As you can see, this is a advanced Seymour Hillman, not a top Seymour Hillman. But if we take a look over on which screen? One of the screens. What? One of the screens. One of the screens. One of these screens, there's a bloody Seymour Hillman or some kind of coach. And I don't know where they are. <laughs> where did they go? I think it might be a different country. Well, I think it might be a different country. God bless the Brazil. What would I do without this man? Because for some reason on the Spanish website for this game, Lena Schiller's and Percival Travis's spirits are hidden amongst the spirits, which is great. It means that Percival Travis and Lena Schiller are going to be probably the coaches for the other two teams, or at least two other coaches you can unlock, which means if we assume the national champs is Percival, and uh, Alias Masters is Lena. I assume that's what that that's how that's gonna work. But I don't think this means that you can use them as players, more so than it means you just collect their spirits and you can use their and it's like you can upgrade them as well, and you can use their spirits to upgrade other players. I don't think this means you can use them as players or anything. But just some of the other spirit images over here. We've got Feyrun going from a growing player to a growing player by using uh, two Sams and two Feyrunes and a normal player Feyrun. So I think green is normal player, blue growing player, uh, yellow top player, and what did I mean? Purple advanced player? Did I say that? I'm losing, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. And this is the screen for when you finish a match. You've got obviously your tokens, your hero tokens, like we were talking about the under the starry sky is there. Bonus V, I don't know spirits and then these are the spirits you've collected over the course of the match it looks like you get a ton so i imagine training a player is quite easy i don't know because it looks quite easy because there's so many spirits you get from one match from the looks of things and a lot of hero tokens it's exciting the higher a player's rarity the better they are to increase a player's rarity you'll need spirits which you can acquire by playing matches so i'm curious whether or not you can like just get a player at a higher rarity like can you just get a whatever the top rarity is can you just find one of those in the wild probably not in the beta but just in the wild i don't know can i do shiny hunting is what i need to know player selection obviously we know all this we know these teams i mean it's interesting this is national champs this is alias masters rather than japan dreams and alien masters makes sense because alia is like very japanese in a zoom 11 term we're not in the dub so it checks out i also think this art is gorgeous um, oh, next. I thought this next was going to like take me to something really interesting and new. It just takes me to the teams. Again, which one am I going to use? Inazuma All-Stars. Uh, I'm going to use Inazuma All-Stars first because I'm basic. But my preference... National Champs is... It, it is just the cooler team, isn't it? It's just the much cooler team, it has to be said. Victory Gallery. Win matches to flip over the panels and reveal concept art. This is This is it. It's like cool concept art and cool. There's a lot though. There's a hundred of them. A hundred in total. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But fair play. Though according to the guidelines, if you show any of Victory Gallery, that's it for your career. So I'm going to try not to. Story mode. Enjoy the main story. The main story featuring Des and Billows. Our new protagonist, protagonist will be added soon. Also feature a wealth of animated cutscenes. Again, 30 minutes apparently. Um, I, uh, Des and Billows is what a name. Added soon. Late April. Early May. Late April, early May is my genuine guess. I don't think we'll see it any time before then. They've also increased that file size from 2.8 to approximately 5 gigabytes, which indicates to me they originally didn't plan on having online shit, but they will do now because I, don't, I guess Hino really wants to launch online. Or maybe they planned on launching it this week, but then we're like, no, we need more time to work on the online because we want to launch it with online. I don't know. Now I'm, I'm just completely guessing. But I think that is everything that we know for now about Victory Roads Beta, analyzed in extra detail. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I can't wait to bring you all uh, Victory Road content. Two videos on that first day. Two videos in a live stream. Cannot wait. I'll see you guys then. Have a lovely day. Bye.